So how are images represented on computers? Well, to start with the simplest example would be a grayscale image like the one I've shown here. So it's a grid of pixels, squares with a particular color, that's a pixel. And in the case of a grayscale image, there's some shade between black and white. And the image is just a grid of those pixels. The particular shade of the color is really just a number between zero and one, representing how white that pixel is, between a scale of zero, where it'd be totally black, and one, where it'd be bright white. So that might look something like this. So here again, I've got another grayscale image, a smaller one, and this, you can see how it maps into a grid of numbers, all between zero and one. And as you can imagine, you could store that grid of numbers on a computer as a matrix, which is equivalent to a list of lists, where each list is a row, and you just have a list of the different rows. But what about color images? Well, you can form color in a number of different ways, and the most common way to do that is to combine red, green, and blue, so that would be an RGB image. And so instead of having just one number to represent the pixel intensity of a particular location in an image, now we're gonna have three. And those each represent the blueness, the redness, and the greenness of that pixel. So it might look something like this. So every color image can be made up of these different channels. So in an RGB image, I've got a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. And that, much like our grayscale example, just represents a grid of numbers which show the intensity of the color in that channel at a particular position. And when you combine all these together, then you get this image. I think a more instructive example is maybe this one, where you can kind of see the image is represented as a stack of these different grids. It's a stack of matrices or a tensor. And so the first channel represents the red channel, the second one, the blue channel, and the third one, the green channel. And each of those channels is a 2D grid, which contains numbers in every pixel position, representing the intensity of that color in that position. And when you combine these together, you get a color image. So there are other channels that you can use as well. So like I said, not every image is an RGB image. You can have, I think, CMYK images, or you can have PNG images, which have another channel as well as the RGB. They have RGB, and then they have a channel called the alpha. What do you think the alpha does? Well, PNG images can have transparent backgrounds. And so the alpha represents the intensity of the transparency in that particular location. So in the alpha channel, if there's a one, that means that that pixel location is totally transparent. So regardless of what the colors are, they don't show up. And with that, you should have an idea of how images are represented on computers.